Okay, I've been looking at a volume of prisms now. Prisms are a class of shape where they have something at the end, which is the same at the back, and in between it's joined by a rectangle. And when I say the same at the back, it means exactly the same, the same way up, the same size, the same proportion, exactly the same shape. And it's joined with, strictly with rectangles in between. Um, now this shape on the end, because if you slice across it in any way, it's the same shape all the way, it's called the cross section. Um, and in this case, this cross section is a triangle, so this prism is called a triangular prism. Now if you recall from our volume of cuboids stuff, we thought about this in terms of layers of things we could count easily. And because this cross section is the same the whole way, all of its layers will be the same and they'll be this triangle. So first of all, let's find the area of this triangle. So the area of any triangle, you should know, is a half times the base times the height. And we've done that before, that's the thing you should know, and a half of 5 eighths is 20. So the area on the end there is 20 centimetres squares, which means this first slice is 20 centimetre cubes in volume. So is this next slice, so is this next slice, so is this next slice. So we're going to do 13 of those, so it's this 20 times 13, which either with a calculator or in your head is 260. So if we ground this up into cubes, each of a centimetre aside, we'd get 260 centimetre cubes of them. And the principle here, the thing you need to get right every time is what is the volume of the slice, of the single slice, and multiply it back by how many slices there are. Here it was a triangle, so we needed the triangle formula, but this bit will change depending on what's on the end. So we'll start with this bit first. So this is the cross section. Good spelling there. The cross sectional area that we are multiplying by the length. Right, this one is a little bit trickier, but the principle is the same. First of all, you've got to spot that where the ends are. Here they were front and back. In this case it's top and bottom. So it's the same on top as it is at the bottom and dropping down are the rectangles. So this shape on top is the cross section. It's got five edges, which means it's a pentagon. I don't know a formula for area of a pentagon, so we can't, we can't do it that way. What I would do though, is think about this in terms of other simpler shapes. So here, if I can get my anything like accurate drawing done, this is a rectangle. Uh, that's a bad choice. Oh well, why don't we do this rectangle instead? That makes much more sense. There's this large rectangle here. And there's this triangle here. So I've made a mess of that, rather unhelpfully, but that's the best we're going to get. <laughs> no, I've in pen. We've got this lovely big red rectangle on top. And we've got this black triangle here. So, that red rectangle is seven centimetres long and five centimetres wide. So the red is five times seven, which is 35. The black triangle here is a little bit trickier. That is five centimetres, and we've got that because we know that this is two, and the whole thing is seven, so that's five take two, sorry, seven take two is five. We know that this, for the same reason, is two, again, seven and five joining up. The formula for the triangle, as we've just done, is a half of base times height, so that is five. And that makes our total cross-sectional area is 40 centimetre squares. Okay, and in this case, this is three centimetres tall, so that means there's three slices, so 40 times three is 120 centimetre cubes. That is the volume. So in any case, for any prism, you find the area of what's the cross section, what's on the end, and you multiply back by how, or multiply down or along by how long the prism is, and that will get you the answer. Depending what shape is on the end, this could be very easy or very tricky. Um, here it was just a triangle, here it was some composite shape made of triangles and rectangles. It could even be a trapezium or some other horrible shape. So enjoy those and we'll get those sorted.